Hey Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome to my yarn adventure. Movie and stitch for the letter F, yarn chat and some mail. So let's get into it. Movie and stitch the letter F. Felony. I may have called it the force last video. I don't know. But the movie is, it's an Australian movie, The Felony, released in 2013. Stars Joel Edgerton, Jai Courtney, Melissa George and Tom Wilkinson. Joel Edgerton, an Australian actor who is becoming well known internationally. Jai Courtney is an Australian actor who doesn't feature high on my radar. He is known internationally. He was in the movie A Good Day to Die and Divergent. But he's not someone that seems to register on my radar, so obviously he hasn't impressed me. Melissa George was doing well overseas. She was in Mulholland Drive. But I think marital issues and custody battles have affected her career because I haven't seen her in a lot of things lately. Tom Wilkinson is an English actor. He's very popular. And once you see his face, you'll know who I'm talking about. He has been nominated in the past for two Academy Awards. He is well known internationally and I enjoy watching him. I recently watched him, I think it was Netflix, in a movie that was released, The Deed, and he was really good in that. So I'll read you the synopsis of the movie so you get an idea what it's about. Three detectives become embroiled in a tense struggle after a tragic accident that leaves a child in a critical condition. One is guilty of the crime, one will try to cover up, and the other attempt to expose it. How far will these men go to disguise or unravel the truth? The outcome of this movie for me. So it's Saturday the 27th of March. We watched it last weekend, um, Thing and I. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. It didn't keep me enthralled. The subject matter probably is a little sensitive for me. My mother was what I call killed by a hit and run drunk driver. He um, hit her car and took off. He was caught fairly quickly by the police and he was quite drunk, but he left her trapped in the car where she passed away. So yeah, it's a sense of a subject for me. What can I say about the movie? I don't think the actors had a great script to work with. Uh, it was poorly executed and edited. So it was a bit amateurish for me um, there's not a lot I can say about it without giving it away other than um, and I don't like to give too much about the movie away because I want you to go and watch it um, look we can all be in a situation where we make a split decision which is a mistake because we panic and I've always had a saying that people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones because you never know how you will really react in that situation. You think you know and you think you do the right thing, but you don't know till it happens to you. And I guess that's basically what the movie is about. And then, you know, the holier than thou person does something wrong and realizes it's not that easy to be perfect. So, yeah, it wasn't a great movie, but it was okay on a wet afternoon. So, out of five stars, I give it three and a half. You can find it on most streaming services. I think it's free on Amazon Prime. Don't quote me on that. But there'll be a small fee. But if you want to watch an Australian movie and kill away, um, while away a wet afternoon, then watch this movie. I always said for Movie and Stitch, I would try and get inspired by the movie to make a project. And, or I'd just do squares if the movie didn't inspire me. Well, this movie didn't inspire me, so I thought, well, I'll get out all my blue, white and red yarn to represent the police force and the ambulance, and I'd make squares. So I just made some more blue squares, varying colours in the middle, while I was watching this movie. Now, you can see this movie didn't keep me enthralled, because I made eight squares. Yes, they're quick and easy to make, but eight's still a lot if you're watching a movie. So that was my review for Movie and Stitch, the letter F. 
For the letter G coming up, I am going to watch the Australian movie The Goddess, A Change of Pace, because it's a musical, and it stars one of my favourite singers, Raylan Keating. So stay tuned for that video when I review the letter G, The Goddess. So, my yarn chat. Well, you would have seen my thumbnail of the green frog on the coat carton, the rev head. So... On our back patio, we have what we call the beer fridge, but there's soft drink in there and there's water. And I went out last night to get a bowl of water and lo and behold, there's a green tree frog sitting on the carton, the rev head, which made us laugh. I called Reeves out and he had a laugh. Now, green frogs make me smile because there's not that many of them around. We used to be prolific with them. They were everywhere, but the cane toad, pest the introduced cane toad is killing them off because the cane toad likes to eat green frog tadpoles so the numbers are reduced so whenever you see one you get quite excited but not only that the rev head is a bit of an in joke because all week reeves the son and i had been watching netflix drive to survive it's a doco on the formula one season for 2020 We've watched a few in the years gone by. Reeves has been a Formula One fan since he was knee high to a grasshopper. And I've been watching them with him because I find them quite interesting. But he always reminds me there is creative license in these docos. And we've been watching that. We go outside and there's a green frog, the rev head. Bit of an in-family joke, but yeah, I thought he was quite cute. And I wanted to share him with you. So while we've been binge watching... The, rev, um, the drive to survive, not the red hev. I had been catching up on my cows. Nan Snicks Knots, I was a couple of weeks behind. I showed you the mint. And then the next number for me was Peacock Blue, which I did. And then this week's was Purple. I'm into the darker colours now. I'm really enjoying this cow and I can't recommend it enough that you join in. It's not too late to catch up and there will be a link in the description below. It is so soft this yarn. This is the Spotlight Super Saver yarn which I'll talk to you about in another video but this blanket is feeling so soft. So that was one of the things I did to catch up during watching Formula One. Hang on, I'll just pause the video, it won't be long. So the other thing I was doing during March is um, finishing UFOs. I found a blanket from 2019 I hadn't finished. I've shown it you before and I had finished it but I hadn't finished the border and I finally put this little border on it. This is the same as I put on the lovies. I really like this. This is a stroller cum car seat blanket and I love this tutorial. You do it that way but you have it that way. It is a tutorial by Bag o Day called Dandelion Dreams. I think I called it Daffodil Dreams last time. It is Dandelion Dreams and I love it. I love this stitch. I am using it in other charity blankets. Now I believe it's called the Suzette Stitch but I could be wrong. If you know please leave a comment below and let me know. But yeah, I finished the blanket my UFO for March and promoting fiber art but knowing me with blankets I like to do a little beanie and I got a little creative and came up with like a little matching beanie of my own pattern this is zero to three months old baby beanie to go with a blanket I put some twirly bits on the top so that's going to make a nice um, set and I love this stitch I do for somebody so that was my UFO for March. I finished. I had quite a busy March. I'm a little sick and tired of doing tea towel toppers or bathroom towel toppers. The other thing I did was I got some mail. Now, it's mail to myself. It's acquisitions, but I always call it happy mail. I bought it from Crochet Australia, which is located in Queensland. I've taken it out of the bag to stop the rustling. Now... Because I've been doing all these bathroom towel toppers and tea towel toppers, got me thinking about you could crochet lace around the hem of a t-shirt to give it a bit more length. And I wanted an edget. Now there's two in there. They're sharp pointed 
crochet hooks to pierce fabric and different things. Like they used to put um, trims around handkerchiefs and things like that. This was $14.90 from Crochet Australia in Queensland. That was quite reasonable. I've seen them for a lot more than that. Their postage was $11 standard postage. I didn't just buy that though. I did actually, because you know I've become a little bit of an amigurumi addict and want to improve my skills. And I went through their books, pattern books they had on special, and I liked this one, Puzzle Balls. Now, Uli tells me this came out quite a while ago, but it was reduced. It's like a little amigurumi animal that you make in three pieces, and it's a puzzle ball for the child. Now, there's a lion, a giraffe, a turtle. I'm not sure. They both look like lions. I don't know. Elephant, dinosaur. See, that's a lion. I don't know what the other white one is on the back. See that one? Yeah, so there you have it. I bought that and hopefully as my amigurumi skills get better, I will make one of these. They all use a four weight Deborah Norville everyday soft worsted medium. So that shows you how old it is. But hey, I don't care. I think it's a great pattern book and it was only 10 bucks and I thought it was greatly reduced. And that's what I bought from Crochet Australia. I don't know if they ship internationally, but the Australian girls might want to check out their website. They do sell some yarn. They sell lots of different stuff. So check out their website. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Which brings me to, it's nearly the end of March and we're about to jump into April and the 1st of April is the birthday make along. Now a lot of people are expecting the colour to be white. No, no, no. Don't count on it being white because I've gone a little crazy and you don't know what colours, colours I'm going to nominate because there'll be more than one colour. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video which will be the birthday make along for April and the nominated colours. We had some great entries in March. The make along group grew. We are at now 99 people in the group. One more. And we hit 100 and time to celebrate. Don't forget to post your pictures with the hashtag birthstone, M-A-L-A-U. I'll make sure the hashtag is in the description below. And keep posting them in April because that's the first quarter of the year done for the make along. Can you believe we're a quarter way through the year already? Hard to believe. Guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And make sure you have one crafty day. Bye for now.